What's going on, coders, and welcome to episode 10 of our slide service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about lines on a slides presentation. So lines are remarkably quite complex when it comes to the number of methods that they have, but I've chosen the top seven methods that I think that you will be using most frequently in your daily professional work, and they are as line, get lines, insert line, get connection sites, set start connection, set end connection, and set end arrow. So let's jump into the code and look at these methods in action. The most prevalent use of a line is to use it to show the relationships between the different page elements on a slide. So let me give you an example. If we go into our presentation, we can indeed just insert any old line on a page on a uh, slide right here, and it can be just standing there. But what we can also do is we can take the ends of those lines and drag it onto a different page element, say this image right here. And you can see we can connect it to eight different spots of this element right here. So if we just say connect it to uh, this little connection site right there, and we take the other end of the line and we go to this shape, say, and we can connect it to any four of these connection sites, but if we connect it here, now we can see that there is indeed a connection between uh, this element or this image right here and this shape. Even if we click and drag this image anywhere on the screen, the line will go with it. All right, so that is one way to uh, uh, use lines on a slides presentation. Now let's try to look at this programmatically. So the first two methods are going to be exactly the same syntax or uh, semantics at least of all of the other page elements. We're gonna first look at as line and get line. So let me just write that out very quickly because again, we've seen this in almost every other episode. All right, we first have a page element, but now let's say we wanna get the access to the methods of, a, of, a, of the class of line. So we can't just get that from any old page element. We need to first convert that, type convert it into a line, and the method to do that is as line. All right, we've seen that before, so I won't belabor on that too much longer. I'll just store in a constant called line for future use. All right, and then the second uh, way to do it, again, you could first go through page elements and then convert those to a line, or you could just say slide dot get lines, and this will go out on the slide and get all the lines that are on that slide and ignore all the other page elements. All right, so just for tradition's sake, we'll logger that. And now if we hit save and run, we'll view these logs after we wait for them, of course. But it should just be one element in an array and it should be a single line because these aren't lines, this is a table, this is our only object, that is a line. All right, and there it is. It is only one element long and there is our line. Alrighty, so that is as line and get lines. Now let's look at insert a line, and it is extremely simple. The method name is insert line. Very intuitive. We can either insert a line, a predefined line that is in a slide already, or a perhaps a different presentation already. So say we have one right here. We could just insert that into this parameter spot and insert that line, or we can create a new line. Say we have to have a um required parameter which is going to be a line category so that's basically what type of line do you want to insert and then you can either say give it some connection sites so the start connection site and the end connection site or you can just position it somewhere anywhere on the screen and that is the start left start top and left and end top well let's select this last option for now just because we're going to review connection sites very shortly in our next method but first you need a line category and this is a slides app enum so we'll say slides app line category and then you have uh, three options I believe Yep, you have bent curved or straight so a straight line is just uh, this right here a bent one is um, this right here the elbow connector and then the curved one is the curved connector alright so let's just say curved because those are kinda of fun all right, start left, this is measured in points, basically like pixel points. So we'll just say, um, we'll say 200. We're just gonna give it somewhat random numbers. And we'll say start top is going to be 50 and left will be 250, or 250. And end top is going to be, 
Uh, we'll just say 150. Again, these are just somewhat arbitrary numbers. But if we hit save, and actually let me comment this out just because if we hit save now and we hit run. Then if we look at our presentation, here is our line. It's kind of overlapping this image and this uh, sheets chart, but here it is right here. Um, let me just select that. Yep, there it is right there. So it's starting up right here and then it's ending out right there. Alrighty, so now let's uh, let's comment this out, and now let's look at the next method, which is Git Connection Sites. So Git Connection Sites is actually a method that you can use across any old page element, and I'll showcase that right now. We'll say page element dot Git Connection Sites. So this is going to affect almost all the page elements, and what a connection site is is if you say um, if you click on this shape right here, actually let me click on the line first, and then I drag it over, oops, not that type of drag, but this type of drag, drag it over to the shape. These all, these, all these purple dots are connection sites. So a connection site is measured in integers, say. So this is connection site index zero. This is connection site index one, two, and three. If you go to an image, you can see that there are eight connection sites in total but it always starts at zero at the very top and then it moves in a uh, counterclockwise fashion. So it should go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven already. And then you'll just have to know, like some of these uh, shapes have four connection, some of them have eight and some of them have two say, and you'll just have to know which ones are which, but like rectangles say, they're always going to have four already. And, then, and also uh, word art, Look, see down here, word art, and then also tables. These do not have any connection sites. I do not know why, but that is just how Google made it. All right, so that is what a connection site is on a um, on a presentation like this. Now I've I've captured an image and a shape. So let's use our uh, connection sites on this image and this shape by showcasing now the next method, which is set start connection and set end connection. All right, so we have our line right here. And let me just actually get rid of this line right there so that we know we're talking about this line. And let's say we wanted to connect this image to this shape right here. So to do that, we would need to say line dot set start connection right here. And you can see it takes a connection site so it uh, let's get our image first, and we'll start it at the image. So we'll say image dot get connection sites. Again, this method right here is accessible through basically any page element. So we'll say get connection sites, and then we are going to get the um, we're going to let's get the one that's on the far right. So this one right here. So we'll have to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. So that is going to be our connection site. We'll say we'll take the sixth connection site. And then now let's look at our next method, which is set end connection site. and Or I mean set end connection. This is going to take a connection site. So let's end that with our shape. And then we'll say get connection sites. And then the one that we want is going to be a number one. So if you remember, there's four in here. This is always, the top is always going to be zero, and it's going to move in a counter position or rotation. So this is going to be zero, and then this is one, two, three. We want one right there. So if we now say one, and we hit save, and we hit run, this will now, as you can see, set these two connection sites to this image and to this shape. It works perfectly just like how we want it and if we drag and drop or if we drag this image around you can see it is indeed connected to it the line at least alrighty let me just comment these out and look at our very last method before we close out this video and that is send or that is set end arrow so if we take our line again or again this doesn't have to be just a plain old line it could be say an arrow so if we say something like set and arrow and it takes an arrow style as your parameter so that is going to be again a slides app enum we'll say slides app dot arrow style and then there are a lot of different arrow style styles that you can choose from let's just say open arrow 
Alrighty, so this is going to be the end. There is one for start as well, but I don't really see too many arrows starting with an arrow. It's usually the end of the line that has the arrow. Alright, so it's running now. And if we look in our presentation, we can now see a little arrow at the end of our line, and this image is now pointing to uh, this shape. Alright guys, again, there are a lot of different methods that I didn't cover, and I would suggest strongly to play around with them, experiment with this line class in general. But for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.